It's day two of the UK Long Drive World Series event at Brockett Hall, and just 16 players are left in the competition. Now it's down to the seedings to determine who will play each other in this critical stage, and how their path to the final shapes up. So, nailing the number one seed position is qualifier Bry Roberts with a drive of 395 yards. The number two seed is Joe Miller, and number three is Sweden's Emil Rosberg. And it's time for battle, as the first pair head to the tee, as the competition now begins in earnest in the round of 16. Number one seed Bry Roberts faces off against 16th seed Timu Pitkinen from Finland. Each gets three minutes to hit eight balls, but the ball must stay within the grid to count. It's a straight knockout, with the player hitting the ball furthest in the driving seat. Each loser also gets one final Powerball opportunity to save themselves. And if this goes further, then their opponent gets the chance to hit again until there's a winner. It's the penalty shootout of long driving. Surprisingly, perhaps, Timu outguns Roberts with an impressive 391-yard drive, and so the number one seed is eliminated. Next up is Joe Miller, undoubtedly one of the superstars in the long drive game, competing here in his home club. He hits 382 yards to defeat Dan Connick, seeded 15. A great start for Joe. Now it's James Tate, number two in the long drive World Series ranking against Max Armstrong, who came through the open qualifying round. And Armstrong smashes an awesome 382 yards, which leaves Tate struggling. His best is 379 yards, and he can't do it on the Powerball either. So Armstrong takes down the Long Drive World Series top gun. Tate is out of the competition in the round of 16. Delight for Max Armstrong, who advances to the next round. It's coming to the event, not very good. I um, didn't enter till two days before, because I've been struggling. Um, yeah, it was a last minute thing to enter, and then I'm glad I did now. Went against you know, a good competitor, a good friend of mine, Max Armstrong. Um, I thought I'd done enough, but he decided to hit one on the power ball and do me, do me by four yards, so... Number three seed Emil Rosberg has the hardest draw of all, perhaps, against Serbia's Ilya Djurjevic. Fate bringing these top two players against each other early on in the contest, with Ilya only seeded at 14 after failing to connect well in that seeding round. But this time he's on the money and blasts an impressive 391 yards to set the standard. Now Emil fires in with a solid 388 yards, which would win most matches. But astonishingly, he has to now go into the Powerball after that effort. Real pressure now. But it's not good enough and he's out. The number three seed is eliminated. A shock for everyone and Emil, who remember won the event last year and is devastated. It wasn't that great. I mean, I hit the ball good. Uh, didn't quite catch it in the first eight balls. Uh, hit a 3.72, I think. Uh, Ilya hit a good ball, 3.91, first ball. Uh, and then I had the power ball. I hit a 3.88. Uh, wasn't quite there, but it is what it is. And uh, on to the next one. We haven't competed against Elja directly uh, for the last two years. So the last time we competed was in Portugal 2016, and I got them there, and lately he was competing way, way better than me and I was like, okay, just visualize how you compete last time against him and do what you do in practice and yeah. And I, and I got him for free, yes. I, I'm really, really happy. I just got gave my best. It's been a fascinating start to this competition with some excellent yardages. Also winning through are Bobby Bradley from the USA, James Wiltshire, Matt Nicole and Jason Cook. So here are the final eight advancing to the quarterfinals and who they now face.